and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. All glory given to Yah, all glory given to his truth, all glory given to his righteousness, all glory given to his judgment, all glory given to his mercy, all glory given to him, for he is the only one who is worthy and worthy enough to be praised. All glory given to Yah, for he is worthy. He is worthy for his sun. He is worthy for his moon. He is worthy for his planet. He is worthy for the life that he has given you. All glory given to his forgiveness. All glory given to his long suffering. All glory given to his truth. All glory given to his might, for he is a powerful God. There is none other, for he sits alone. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy, for he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his name and Jesus Christ's name forever, for Yah is worthy. Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Blessed be his name. For he is worthy. Family, thank you for spending time with your brother here in the sanctuary. Today is March 19th. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 19th. It's about 6, 635 or so, family. And I was trying to think about some things that happened to me earlier that I would want to use for our sit down here in the sanctuary for tonight. But then once more again, you know, your brother going to ask you, family, how have you been? How are you? You know what I'm saying? How are you and how are you been? I know he is with you. I know he loves you. And I know he guides you and inspires you. And we all with you, family. We're all in this together, family, of this mountitude of love that we must have for our Yah and our people. Something that needs to be praised and celebrated more than other things that we do here, family. So how have you been? How are you? All glory be given to Yah. Your brother, I'm up over here and we good, family. We good, family. I'm, 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 doing, I'm, too, I'm doing too good. It's like... It's like he done took a break on me, family, and we can't we can't take no breaks on this evil on this evil because you got to stay sharp. And I don't want to get I don't want to get too too lazy or anything like that, family. He taking a break. He all like, has has gotta take a break from Jehoshaphat. I'm gonna go mess with somebody else. I'm, I gotta go over here and do something. Not Jehoshaphat. I'm just gonna leave him alone. I don't wanna mess with him. I don't wanna fool with him. Nah, I got stuff coming this way, but not me. So he done took a break on me. Don't get me wrong. I'm still facing evil like everybody else, but I'm talking about him, family. Him, family. Do you know the devil be up over there acting like that damn thing off of Jeeper Creepers? You know what I'm talking about? He be sniffing you. Oh, I want you. I like you. Devil be picking people, family, that he specially likes. And I'm sorry to tell y'all, y'all already messed up because y'all God's chosen people. You know what I'm saying? You black. It's okay. You don't want to call your, yourself a Hebrew or Israel. Like, you ain't got to call yourself. Now, we ain't got to say nothing. Now, you known for calling yourself black. That's what we going to call you. You know what I'm saying? But. It's no different, family. You guys, you guys chosen. You hit you guys special, family. You guys every single thing. And the devil be up over there acting like Jeepers Creepers. He's a pervert, family. He be over there sniffing. I want her. I want Tina. Oh, I want Mike. Oh, I want Jermaine. I want Willie. He be up over there being like that, family, towards us automatically off the top since we're the high, the highest children, family, his his chosen people, family, above all people. And he didn't he didn't took a break on your boy. I know tomorrow I know I'm going to be right back at the grind with him, family, but I don't like to get too slum. And I, I be looking for the devil, family. I'm telling you, family, I be looking for him, wondering where he at. He ain't came around. You know what I'm saying? This is like this is like tag and stuff and i'm the only one who's learning something i'm actually learning and picking up stuff off of him family because you gotta know your enemy family you gotta know your opponent and i'm already up out here and i told you family i told you family them things is old family they old there's no telling how old he is you know what I'm saying? so he already got me beat on that one. Oh darn it he got me you know what I'm saying? he got me on that one. Oh, oh, oh darn it 
Oh, darn it. He was here before the earth was even here. Oh, he walked in, in the gardens with the father. You know what I'm saying? God gave him a, a job to do. You hear about him and his music and you hear about his, his entertainment. You be hearing about him being so beautiful and stuff like that. But he had precious stones on him when he walked through the midst of the garden family. And God likes garden and he likes special places, family. And in this this one spot that he picked and he made for himself and he only had the devil walking through there to watch his precious, powerful stones of power to him. You know what I'm saying? So, OK, darn it. He got me. You know what I'm saying? He's been around for forever, him family. But you must understand. You are the chosen. You might as well say you the elite. He wants you more than any other body, family. Any other person on the face of this. It could be one black person amongst like 30 Asians. He'll go straight for the black person first, family. He gonna, he gonna be tearing them Asian people up. Don't, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? It'll be, it'll be two Hebrews, family. It'll be like a hundred Mexicans, family. He goes straight after the black person first because that is God's anointed. That is God's chosen, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, family, it's a thousand white people, family. It's only one he it's only one black family. You know what I'm saying? It's only one Hebrew family out there. And he went straight after them. Why is that? Because we're God's chosen family people family aren't you tired of being lied to brothers aren't you tired you already have been indoctrinated with all these damn lies to get you on the other side on, on some oh let's make these people and sound like damn donald trump let's make this whole race of people beneath us under our feet and let's trample under them you know what i'm saying they would want to do you like that because you are god's chosen so if you guys chosen who are they just ask yourself, you know what I'm saying? If you are God's chosen, who are they? Evidently, they're not God's chosen. So I want you to I want you to be asking your father, family. I want you to be asking him for all the different things that you need. Like before, before we even get into studies for tonight, family, we're going to be talking about blessings. But let your brother, let your brother uh, let me sharpen your little spear. Now I didn't get you a spiritual... Uzi in the AK family, you know what I'm saying? I'm gave you this Uzi in this AK. Let me, just, let me give you some extra bullets right now. Just sit down, relax. Now, it's like every single thing that I'm learning from him on how he acts, it determines a lot on what I do, family. I don't want to get caught slipping at all. Not even a little bit. So if I know how he's going to attack me for it, he will attack me, family. You know what I'm saying? He will go. He he roams the, the street like a lo like a lion seeking for whom he can devour, family. This is not a game. This is not a joke, family. But I told you, the more you the more you build up your love, the more you build up your faith and doing these simple principles that he wants us to live by. If you don't live by these principles, I don't even know what's wrong with you. And love is the, the foundation of all the principles. And by you building up your faith and your love is the protection of knowing what to do, already having all the necessary spiritual things that you need to conquer, family, grow, family, and then move on, family. So I do not take my engagements with him lightly, family. I see them as a, a instant struggle of a, a eternal battle between good and evil and life and death that's hanging in the balance, family. And if you, if you got life and death, you know, it's a whole lot of miseries and woes as well, family. So we got that too, family. So um, I'm in these engagements and we, with your brother teacher, you can't run from the devil. You can't hide from the devil. You ain't going to be able to get away. You can't even move fast enough. And I know he slide on his damn belly, but he got tricks of deceptions as well, family. So I want you to stay on your guard and ask your father. Ask him, family. Talk to him, family. Be real to him, family. Be real to him in every single way that you can be real. And I don't want to get I don't want to get off topic. But like your brother told you, this relationship that you have with your father is more important than any other soul on the face of this earth. And. A lot of people don't even know themselves to even have a relationship like that. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. They can't even be real to their own selves to be real to him. 
and come just come forth with that that open spirit, that open dialogue of, you know, Father, I'm down here on this earth, y'all, and I love you and I do everything I'll, I can for you. What you want me to do? My heart is all for you. You know what I'm saying? That 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 submission, family, that lock hold on him of never wanting to let him go. Now, before we get into lessons tonight, I, I want you I want you to consider this family before we get into this this study and this preaching and this teaching. I want you to think about your blessings, family. I want you to think about them, family. How can we get our blessings, family? How can we get our and you know I'm all you know your brother, I'm about these blessings, family. If you ain't got no blessings coming, that's a problem, family. You ain't got no blessings in your back pocket, brother. Hold up, have you checked, brother? Hold on, hold on, sister, sister, sister. You ain't got no blessings coming? No, 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 no. We're not gonna play this joke. I'll bring it back like your grandpa. We ain't gonna be playing with them cracker jacks like that. We ain't doing that. Now, I want you to consider when you ask, when you ask, yeah, I want you to consider every single thing that we, we talk about. I want you to think about it, family, because that is a it, people don't understand is much more behind just asking it, it, it's more than that, family. You can ask all you want, family, but them extras, family, we're going to talk about them extras, family, that we got to give in. So I want you to consider. I want you to consider these things. When you bring them through your father. And the sad thing, when we go over this, this is the reason why a lot of people ain't blessed, family. It's the reason why they ain't blessed. Something happened. You know what I'm saying? Something. What happened? What? I don't know, Jehosa. It was coming. The blessing train was coming, Jehosa. Uh, two, two, brother. He blew it in the car, brother. What's wrong? Oh, we going to talk about it, brother. We going to talk about it. Jehoshaphat, uh, I, I was waiting on my blessings, and my blessings never came. Jehoshaphat, we gonna talk about it, sister. We gonna talk about it. So I want you to consider all these things when you ask of the Lord of all creation, the God of the heavens and the earth, Yah, blessed be His name. When you ask Him, I want you to think about these things, family. Now let's go ahead and get into this, family. You can go ahead and go to your your Bible. Go to John, family. Go to the book of John, family, chapter 15, family. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done. So that's that's part of the contract to get these blessings, family. And this is this is why people don't be getting blessed, brother. Jadosa! Joseph, what, what, what do you mean? I'm trying, it comes with a contract, family. It's like you go to the dealership and they say, we're going to give you some low payments and you'll be able to pay it off in like three years. You're going to have to do something else, family. You're going to have to pay that insurance too because you know they tell you, you're going to have to have full coverage for that car, brother. You know what I'm saying? They want the full coverage for it. You know what I'm saying? So it's other things you got to do. What is the Lord saying? What is John saying? If you abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done. You have to follow him to do this. So many different people don't follow him. I didn't say that they didn't believe him. They believe in him. They just don't follow him like that. So they, his words don't abide in them like that, family. I'm not going to sit up here and throw out no harsh names like they wishy-washy. No, I ain't going to do that, family. But you know who I'm talking about. This is a contract when you asking something of Yah. You know what I'm saying? You asking something of Yah, you're going to go ahead and use your Savior's name. But what is the, what is it behind it? If you slipping, if you're not carrying this torch of Yahshua burning in your heart, of you loving your Father and standing by all of His truth, each and every day of your life to have Yahshua, the Lord Jesus Christ to abide in you, family, in you. Then you can ask, family. Then you can ask, family. But if you're not doing it, what do you mean, brother? What do you mean, brother? I don't know, brother. I don't. All you have to do is live for his true family. You have to make him. What did your brother tell you about this relationship that you have to have with the most high God? It's the same thing with Yahshua. You have to abide with him. You got to have him on your mind, family, all the time, family. You got to be doing what's right, family. Setting apart yourself from this world. Doing as the Lord would do, family, in your life, family. And people be like, oh, that's too hard, brother. That's too hard. It is not hard to be good, family, to try to be good. 
It's not hard to have patience. It's not it's not so damn hard and so damn rough to have some peace, family. It's not damn hard to sit up here and try to be a truthful person. That's not hard to do, family. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't. You're gonna have to fight to do them, but it's not like wrestling 10 alligators, family. Over a Snickers bar, family. You ain't gotta do all of that, family. It's not hard like that, family. Now by this, the father is glorified that bears much fruit. So you will be my disciple. You have to be his disciple, family. And God, he wants to bless you, family. He wants to bless you. He wants to bless you. Why, Jehovah, why do he want to bless me? Because that's the only way he can glorify himself, sister. You know what I'm saying? He glorifies through blessing us for other people to see us like, man, God is really blessing that person. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? He blessing, he blessing Brother Jordan up over there. Yes, he is. You know what I'm saying? He blessing Brother Tyrone up over there. I see him shining. You know what I'm saying? My brother, my brother up over there shining because God is shining on him, family. So he wants, family. He truly, he wants to bless you, family. But a lot of people don't have Jesus. They don't be abiding by his word and trying to stay in it, family. They don't try to stay in it, family, at all, family. They don't try to stay faithful all the way into the end. What does that mean, Jehosa, through their whole life, family? it was, A sister girl was doing good. My sister over there, she was doing good. She went three whole years, but I'm sorry, she fell off. The, Ten years later, she found the Lord again when she was going through it. My brother was doing good, family. He was. He dedicated ten whole lives all to Yah. Ten full years. But them 30 other years, family, he about 60, 70 now. He got to get right now, family. You know what I'm saying? This is why, family. This is why they fall off, family. Not all, but a few, family. Just be aware. Consider these things, family. Okay, let's go to the, the book of Psalms. Chapter 37, verse 4. The book of Psalms. Chapter 37, verse 4. Okay, delight in yourself, in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Oh, hold up, family. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did I write this wrong? Hold on, family. Hold on, family. I got to pull out the word. It's a dangerous thing. Woo! Slaying down dragons with his word, family. They ain't ready, family. Delight yourself also in the Lord. You have to love God, family. You have to love him. Delight and love. I love y'all. Hallelujah, family. I love him, family. Do you understand that, family? I love him, family. Delight in him, family. What, what can you, uh, brother Jehosa, I don't understand. I don't, uh, hey, you're not even speaking English, Jehosa. What do you mean? Delight in the Lord. Love him, family. Love God. Love God that he's giving you a chance, family, to love him, family, that you gon' he going to have to see that you love him. Them people over there, they kind of, they a little bit, maybe on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and when Sunday come up, but family, uh, Thursday, Friday, Monday, they ain't even, they ain't even loving the y'all like that, family. They not, family. Delight each and every day that he gives you life and that he loves you and that he is with you. Delight, family. In your love for the Lord. So many of them of family, they, they don't, oh, well, yeah, this is a burden. And family, family, they see us loving God as a burden. They see it as a problem, family. I'm trying to tell you, family, I used to be one of them so I can talk about them, family. Oh, yeah, I love you, but this life is so hard. You better find some happiness, brother. You better find some happiness in loving him. Are you going to miss out on your blessings up over here? According to what was written, family. And I love it, family. I love it, family. I love it being up over here in the sanctuary. You think you getting this good preaching all by yourself, family. You think it, you think it's just for you only. And uh -uh, family. It's for everybody, family. Now, let's go to the book of Mark. And that's just two that we talked about, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. They ain't trying to stay up in this. And you know your father. He's the same just like his father. Son, he, he the same. You know what I'm saying? The son is like the father and the father is like the son. Let's flip it back. If you abide in me and my and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done. 
Psalms, Psalms 37, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. They don't even, they don't even love him like that family. I told you it's a, it's contracts up in this family. It's things that you have to do family to get these things family. And then hold fast to it, my brothers. Holding so fast to it, brother. Okay, let's go to the book of Mark. Let's go to chapter 9. Let's go to verse 23. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible. If you have... No. I'm... Did I mess up? And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for one who's a believer. I think I missed faith. Hold on, family. Let me pull out the word, family. Hold on, family. Hold on, family. Is your, is your brother slipping? Is your brother is your brother slipping, family? Am I, am I slipping? Can't be slipping up over here, family. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given. Shouts out to all my nine o'clock prayer warriors. All my prayer soldiers. Shouts out to all the prayers that you give up. Your family, we love you, family. Keep it up, family. Don't stop, family. Keep it up, family. You don't even want to know what y'all told me, family. And it's the same. It's the same. It's the same just like I told you last time, family. It is, family. Okay, chapter 9. You don't even want to know how strong we is at this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Don't be playing, family. People be praying at 9 o'clock and they don't even, they in this too, family. We all praying at 9 o'clock, I'm trying to tell you. You need to come get yourself some. Toot, toot, butter, get on the train. You got 15 minutes for ya. You know what I'm saying? Sister, sister, you got 10 minutes for ya. But I'll tell you this right now. 15 minutes turned into 30 and... The, the tw 10 minutes turn into 20, family. You might be there the whole time, family. For we're going to keep it holy, family. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who, who's a, who believes. So... Family, they be asking God and they don't even believe in it, family. Can you believe how ridiculous this sounds, brother? You know what I'm saying? Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? You know what I'm saying? They ask for God. God, can you help me get a car? Okay, he said it, but he didn't even believe none of that. So he didn't keep on praying on it. He didn't tell father about it. He didn't really think inside of his heart that that's what God would, that's what y'all would do for him. He didn't even think so, family. He didn't even believe, family. He really didn't believe in God like that. He was just over there asking, asking him for stuff, family. You know what I'm saying? This don't even make no sense how people is. But according to the word, this is how people act. And just because this was 2,000 years ago, don't mean they're not doing the same things now, family. They're doing the same thing, family. Jesus said, to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. They be asking and they don't even believe, family. It's a, it's a damn shame, family. It is, family. It is, family. They halfway believe in God and then the other people sit up over there. They believe in God, but then they ask him and don't think it happens. It's sad, family. It's sad, family. So, sister, when you ask the Most High God for something, believe. Sister, Sister, believe, you know what I'm saying? Think inside of your head that these are the terms of conditions or what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? This is going to happen. There's no way that it's not going to happen. You have to be a believer, family. He wants to see that. He's like, my, my child is stepping out on faith. They, they, they walking by faith and not by sight. You know what I'm saying? This is what he wants. You know what I'm saying? So what we going to have to do, Jehoshaphat? We have to really believe. I know you believe, but it's people out there, family, that do not believe like that. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I just can't ask him and don't believe. Oh. People are silly like that, family. They, they is, family. They really is silly like that. Half of them, I told you, family, half of them kind of believe in him. Well, you know, I halfway believe in God. I halfway seen him. He halfway helped me. So I don't even think if I ask him like that, that he going to halfway help me. They don't believe in him like that, family. We're waiting. We telling them about it, family. We bothering about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sure is going to be good when you give me them blessings that, you, that I want that's inside of my heart. You know I loves you, yeah. You know I need you, yeah. Bless me. You got to talk to him. You got to tell. You got to believe. You know what I'm saying? They don't even believe, family. 
They don't even believe, family. Sister, that's why she on the bus, family. That's why she's on the bus, family. She didn't believe that y'all would give her a car. Brother sitting up over there, he he wasn't believing, family. It's part of the contract. What was the other one? You have to abide in this work. What is the other one? You got to love loving y'all, family. All of these things have to coincide and work and work and work inter, intertwine together. Twisting around the clock like clockwork to work, family. You have to consider these things, family. Now... Let's go to let's go to the same chapter, the book of Mark's family. Let's let's go to chapter eleven, verse twenty-four. Therefore I say to you, whatever whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. So think about that, family. The same thing, same thing, same thing all over again, family. It is when you look at it, family. Am I on the right chapter? Yeah. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible for who who believes. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Think about that, family. You got to believe that you're going to receive it, family. You actually have to. It's like it's like you see. OK, you see whatever it was as something that you already have. Family like me, I speak things into existence. I talk about things as if they was already done. You understand that? I speak things. It's the same thing on the same term of what Yahshua is teaching us. Now, I speak what I want to happen as it already happened. I'm going to keep on saying it until it happened, family. You understand that? You know what I'm saying? Same things with what Yahshua is telling us. We have to believe, family. We have to believe, family, to receive it, family. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Family, them people sit up over there. They don't even think that they're going to get it, family. They pray for it and they want it, family, but they do not see themselves having it. It is a spiritual damn shame, family. It's a shame, family. That's bad, family. So let's go back up again. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. It sounds simple. It sounds like a cakewalk. It sounds simple, but it's not so simple to other people, family, who for some reason, they don't have they don't think that they have to train their spiritual mind to 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 actually receive whatever it is, family. Whatever you might be asking, it's a multitude of different things that's out there in the world that any man or woman might ask for at that given sense and time. But you have to actually believe it, family. Believe. I want you to believe that you already got it, family. Straight up, family. This is how you have to look at it. Like it's already part of your collective family of whatever you already got, family. I told you, your brother up over here, I'm speaking things into existence. It's like I'm talking in the past. It's like it's like I'm speaking things into existence in like the past tense and family. I already did it, family. So I'm going to continue it, family, until these things come to four wishes. No, 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 no. To these things come to this existence for we speak things into existence, family. Let your brother get a little bit of water. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to his greatness. When Family, when you wake up in the morning, family, be in love with your Yah. Family, when I wake up, Jesus going to know about it, family. He is. I'm going to start praying. I'm going to start praying to his father and then I'm going to tell him something. I'm going to tell him like, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, help me. You. <laughs> it, 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 it might not be as detrimental as that. And it's going to be out of love and stuff, family. Jesus, you know I'm up. You know I love you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your father, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Lord, I need you to work on my heart today, Lord. I need you with me, Lord. My mind, keep my mind set on you, Lord. How do you walk it, Lord? How do you talk it, Lord? What would you do, Lord? What do I got to do, Lord? That's what he be hearing in the 
morning time. Like, oh, all oh, Linus is up. Oh, Jehosa, he up. Okay, he up. Again, he he does this every single day. You know what I'm saying? He okay. I know he's gonna pray. And I know he's gonna talk to me. <laughs> because we don't pray to our master. We talk to him, family. We let him in on our heart, family. We pray to Yah, family. But it's sincere, it's sincere like a prayer to 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 Yahshua. I mean to Yah family. It's sincere like it's a prayer to Yah family. So you got to wake up in the morning loving on your father. You really do to pull out that love family. Where did you come short family? Where did you fall short the other day family? What do you need to improve on? These stuck up Hebrews out here in the world act like they ain't got to work on nothing, family. I'm just saying, family. I said that I was like, I was like, okay, now what do you think you got to work on yourself? They think these eat these so called African Americans think that they so damn perfect that they ain't got nothing to work on themselves like that at all. They ain't no type of improvement. It's always room for improvement up over here with y'all, family. And we study improvement. So look at yourself, family. Look at yourself. Talk to your father. Be sincere to him. Open up. Let him in. They can't even open up or let him in, family. You know what I'm saying? And to that, that who they really are, family. They hide who they really are from God. And he already know them anyway. He already know they two-faced like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a damn shame, family. It is, family. So when you wake up, wake up in the morning loving on your Yah, family. Thinking about your Yah, family. Praying to your Yah, family. To have a great day, family. No matter, no matter what that coward might try to send your way. And I, yeah, I said it. I said it. And I say he defeated too. And he a damn liar. You know what I'm saying? He a coward. He defeated and he a damn liar. Anything he might try to send your way. Pray to your father in that day. Okay, let's get back into this. Get a little bit more water. Okay, let's go to the let's go to the book of James, family. Let's go to the book of James, chapter four, verse three, family. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your on your possession. Can you be imagine that, family? They be up over there asking stuff, but it's some greedy blessings, family. It's some greedy stuff that they asking for. God is not going to bless your greed. He ain't family, so you got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. Does it help you and others? Or just does it just help you, family? You know what I'm saying? Is it just all about you, family? You know what I'm saying? Is the blessing all I want this blessing just for myself, just to have family? Come on now, family. Really? Now, I asked the most high y'all to bless me with a wife so we can share him together. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? To share him together, family. Not just by myself. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna share y'all together. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about it, family. You gotta think about it. How does your blessings affect? Okay, he wants to glorify himself, but he's not gonna glorify no greed, family. He's not gonna grow, glorify something that's empty, family, that's vain, family. Kind of contentious at nature if you look at it, family, because it's so damn selfish, family. It's all about me. All about me, 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 oh, me. And then they wonder why they're not going to be blessed with a greedy bless, they greedy blessing. That's a greedy blessing, family. It is, family. There's some lust behind that, family. That's why it will not be answered. What was written? What is written? You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your possession. That sounds like a greedy blessing, family. How can you chop that up to be something else? How can you? How can you? Can't even do it. I won't even see it in the comments. I can't, Jehovah. I can't. Oh, the Lord mean this. I told you about them people, family. Why are they trying to argue? Why do they try? Why do they try to argue the Bible? So won't they try to preach the Bible? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it, family. They want to argue the Bible. Won't you believe in it? They want to argue the Bible. Once you have faith in it, you know what I'm saying? I don't even get them, family. I don't need, it goes right up over my head. But I'm telling you, God will reveal who they is through scriptures. He does it every single time of what they're doing, of who they are and what they stand for, family. We don't have no time to be contentious with our own brothers and sisters. We do not, family. Not over what is written, family. It ain't, family. Okay, let's go back because... Oh, no, no. We just talking about blessings right now. We good. But let me go ahead and change up my pick, family. Let me change up my pick real quick. Okay, now. Do not be an ex about anything, but in everything, be prayers 
and supplications with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ. Now, look, 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 look. You see that, family? This is people who believe, family. They believe the other people they don't even believe, family. They don't even think that God is going to hold their hand while they keep on asking. They don't even have faith that God is going to submit and give them whatever it is, family. Being with them, guarding their heart, giving them peace, giving them the time they need before he gives it to them. They gave up before the race was even started, family. It's sad, family. It's sad. Once more again, you have to understand these things. Okay, now, do not be annexed about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplications with the thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. He has to know, family. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is commandable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worth of praise, think think about these things. So think about that, family. Think about it, family. You know what I'm saying? This is what he will bless. He's not going to bless something ratchet. He's not going to bless something to the high heavens. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, family. He ain't going to do that, family. Like that, family. If it's righteous, if it's commendable, family, if it's something with integrity, family, if it's something with honor, family, he's going to he's gonna honor himself through it, right? That's what he's going to do. That's what he's saying, family. He's going to honor himself through a commendable act of truth. You know what I'm saying? A, a good prayer, family, a, something good that you asked him for, family. I told you, family, I told you, whatever you're going through in your life, you can pray over it and say a plan so good that your father be in heaven. He'd be like, you know what? That was a good plan. I'm, I'm going to have to do that, Shaniqua. You know what I'm saying, Shaniqua? Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. That was a good plan, son. Son, I'm up here in heaven. I'm the most high guy. And that was a damn fine good plan that you, you said. I'm going to do it word by word, family. So you got to think about these things, family. You have to think about these things. What was said, family, it has to be commendable. It has to be righteous, family. Let's go back up. Okay, by prayers and supplications with thanksgiving. You gotta be thank th thank him that you that's what you're gonna get, family. You know what I'm saying? Thank him that that's what thank you for blessing me with what I asked you for, even though you don't even see it, family. They don't even believe in they Ah, oh, it's bad out there, family. Thank him already, family. You gotta see it in hindsight, family. You gotta see it like you, you gotta see it like a premonition, family. Like you can already see into the future. You already see what you asked him for. You already believe in it. You already believe that you are all you have received it. Thank him for it. We have to do we have to prayer things into existence, family? That is what it seems like, family. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is what it seems like. Because both of these things seem the same to me. Family, they seem very, very, very semi to each other, family. Okay, let's go back. Okay, requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ and Yahshua. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worth of praise, think about these, think about these things. So once more again, family, I want you to consider all of these things that we have went over. Side note for the afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Side note. Yes, it is. OK, what what are the three things that y'all wants from us? So th think, brother, I give you five seconds, brother. OK, brother, I give you eight. I give you seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what is it, brother? What is it? What is the three thing? Oh, Jehosa, you cheated. I was still thinking, Jehosa. Okay, Jehosa. Uh, okay, I know, I, I know the most high yah. I know, okay, I know he wants me to have love. You right, brother. You right, brother. Okay, 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 okay. That's one up. That's one up. Jehosa said that's right. Oh, uh, okay, Jehosa. He want me to tell the truth. You right. You right, brother. 
You right, brother. That, that that's the that's the other one, brother. Oh, okay, 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 Jehosa, I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Okay, I, 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 he want me to have love. I told him. Okay, and he want me to have some peace. And he wants you to be truthful. This is what God is act, asking from us directly because anything that we do, remember these principles. I cannot sit here and call them a concept for they are everything with valor, family, of the measures of men and women that he wants us to be as direct descendants of his greatness. All glory be given to Yah for he is worthy. So these impressions, family, of how a man or a woman must act each and every day when you out here in this world and you conducting your life, your father wants you to love family. He wants you to be truthful family. And he wants you to have peace. That's all he asking from us. Everything else in the Bible goes with that family. All of it family. You can take the whole complete. Well, I can't say from our laws and, and different statutes, but it still rose up from. OK, OK. Far as in far as in our, our customs and our holidays and, and certain things like that that happen to other people. But all of it family is wrapped up in those three things family. And I tell you right now, the greatest out of all three of them is love family. He wants us to love family. That's greatest of all. He already wants us to walk in peace, family. You see these people and they are not peaceful. Okay. He wants to be, he wants us to be truthful people. They can't never tell you the truth, family. They always lying, family. They always lying, family. And they can't tell you the truth, family. They ain't got no peace up in them. Don't let me pull out love, family. Don't even let me say love. They that's foreign, family. I just went out to Mars and stuff, and they got the rover, and they looking for faces that don't even exist, family. Talking about um, F met um, uh, Aphrodons and um, uh, uh, prehistoric uh elephants over in Mars. It just don't exist, family. It never did, family. They all the way over there, family. They do not understand, family, that they're going to have to walk in love, family, that they're going to have to be a truthful person, family, and they're going to have to have some peace, family. So as you look at the people tomorrow, as you in Sir Journey out there in, in God's country, I want you to think, family, what, peace, what people do you come across that have love, got peace, and being truthful for, to you? For they are trying to be the righteous, to be glorified under his banner, family. Trying to be glorified under him, family. Trying to glorify their father by these things. So think about that, family, tomorrow, family. I want you to look at the people who not, and I want you to give in to love. I want you to give in to peace, and I want you to give in to truth. Once more again, family. I'm talking to, to so-called black people in this country, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to you. Or do you hear me? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this to you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I can I can go on a tangent and just sit here. No, I'm, I'm just going to end the side. Side note for the night. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Side note for the night. Now, family, join with me to the book of Luke, family. Chapter 18, family, verse 1. And, and remember, we're not going to lose our place here. We're almost done here with blessings, family. And it's like, as I, as I look at all these different things, family, that we have went up over, I'm going to have to sharpen myself up too, family. I might not be lacking like some people, family, but as I look through all these different things, family, I, I ran across some things that I need to pick up my own self, family. This is just not for you, brother. This is just not for you too, sister. This is for everybody. I told you, family. We're teaching the world. We is God's holy people, family. This is our job, family. They supposed to be coming running up to us. Hey, black people, won't you tell us about your God? Please let them get closer to us. What, what we got to do, black people? Okay, now, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to lose heart. He said in a certain city, there was a judge who, ne who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in the city who kept coming to him and saying, give me justice, give me justice against my adversaries for a while. He refused but afterwards, he said to him, he said to himself, 
I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, yet be because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her own con continuously coming. So this is family, family. Brother, you've been looking for that job. You better beat them people down. They better see you every single day. Like, damn, this Hebrew just keep on coming back. Oh, is he out there? Is he out there again? He got he got applications in his hand and he's serious. We're gonna have to get him. You gotta beat these people down. What do you gotta keep on going? What is it that you want, sister? What is it that you want? You gonna have to keep on going. You see what happened with what Yahshua told you about the the bad he a bad judge, family. You don't even believe in God. He don't even like people like that, family. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't even like people like that. And looked how he looked at this situation. He like he looked at this lady like, okay, she she already she a widow who did her wrong. Somebody done stole her land or something. I don't even care about this lady like that. But she keeps on bothering me. You know what I'm saying? She keep on coming back. This lady might put hands on me. You know what I'm saying? She might throw a brick at me. She might get back. So this is what the Lord is saying. We have to protect. Pursue these things nonstop. Eventually, we will get what we want. Now, does this work with relationships? I'm gonna tell you, brothers. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, Hebrews, one more again. To have a virtuous man or a virtuous woman is a gift from the supreme being himself. All glory be given to Yah, for He is worthy for His earth. He is worthy for His heavens, and He is worthy for all of existence. So. I say that to you, so I don't, I don't know, I don't think that this, that applies to this one now, but everything else follows such, family, it follows suit to this one accord right here of every other thing that you want, what is it, brother, what is it, sister, what is it, I heard you want that nail shop, sister, you need to pursue that, girl, you already know how to do hair and nails and all of that stuff, you need to pursue that, you need to put some of your, the, the daughters of Zion with you, and y'all need to open up that nail shop, y'all need to open up that salon, girl, what is it, brother, what is it, brother, it, it, it shouts out to my Facebook family, if you look on Facebook family, there's a, it's like a young judge popping up 24, 25, they pursued it, family, shouts out to the judges, shouts out to all, I, I might say about education, I'm just talking about them goofy, them goofy evil Hebrews that they use their education and they look down at other people, but all my other people out there that's highly educated, they got love for your brother Jehoshaphat and love, and love Yah. You know what I'm saying? I love them, but it's some bougie Hebrews out there, family. It is, family. It is, and they look down at people. Not them. I'm talking about the other Hebrews, family. They educated and everything. They do not look at me like that, family, at all, family. But what is it? What is it, brother? What is it, sister? What are you asking for? You're going to have to pursue that. Whatever it might be, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it, whatever it might, don't let them lock them doors up on you. And if they lock the door on you, you're going to keep on knocking on the damn door. They're going to get tired of you, family. They're going to get tired of your comings around. Yah himself will see you looking for all that. And he'll get tired. <laughs> he'll get tired. <laughs> oh, 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 here go Mike again. He, he out there with his flashlight. He looking for that blessing. He, I seen my child out here. I seen him many moons. In many seasons, let me feel his sorrowful heart and let me get my his blessing. I, I can't see my child like that out there like that. I, can, I, can, I can't see Jennifer out there like that no more. I just can't see her. I need to get her these blessings. So my child, he be looking down at his family. Oh, there she go again. Look at Tiffany. Look at Tiffany. She going to come out here looking for them blessings. I got to bless my child. She's still looking. She's still looking, Jesus. Yeah, Father. She's still looking, Father. She been looking all month, Lord, Father. She been looking for her bed. Oh, but poor, uh, poor Tamika. I gotta get her. What's she looking for? I gotta give her. She, she, she Yahshua, is she still looking? She's still looking, y'all. Yeah, she still. I seen it all last. Week. He even get tired, family. And bless you, family. We gotta wear them down, family. We have to wear them down with what if you cannot give up, family. I can't give it up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pursue that family. You know what I'm saying? You gotta believe in it, family. Let's go back up to the story, family. I feel like I lost somebody here. Now, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in the, in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversaries. For a while, he refused. But after a while, he said to himself, 
though I neither fear God nor respect men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continuously coming. So just like just like Yeshua said, family, we got to beat them down and make them surrender, family. You cannot give up, family. You cannot give up at all. Not even a little bit, family. Now, this is why this is why Yeshua said this. Let's go ahead and go to the book of Matthews, family. I turn these pages, but you know, I, I got all this stuff written down, family. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I personally, I, I write down the Bible just to memorize it, family. I do, family. I, I do. I, I sit there. I, and you be like, won't you just read the scriptures and just keep it? No, no, no. It's better when I write it down. It's no telling how many times I done wrote the Bible down, family. It's no many, because that's how I learn, family, of my memorization, family. I have to write it down, family. And then I remember it, family. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? What is your, what is your level of understanding? You have to find yours of what works for you, family. That's mine. That's my hook right there, family. I write it down, family. I memorize it. It's locked up in my head, family. I read it again, family. I might write it down two more times, family. I'm not playing over here, family. So, yeah, I go over here and turn these pages, but I already got it, family. You know what I'm I turn these pages and act like I'm going to pull it off the Bible, but nah, family. Okay, now, ask and it. This is why Yeshua said all these things. Okay, let's go back down. Um, Matthews chapter 7, verse 7, all the way to 12. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened. That sounds like some stuff you got to do, family. It don't seem like I can just sit back up over here and kick it. Well, you know, yeah, I just want that blessing. I got to I gotta do some other things too, family. You know what I'm I got to do some other things if other things are required. And it took brother to get on the, and start looking. It took sister to start putting on her running shoes and hoofing it and knocking on them doors, family, until she got it, family. You understand what's being said, family? You got to get it. It's got to be a, a a hunger in you for him to see it. Well, how I'm going to bless Jermaine. How I'm going to bless Tyrone. And I don't even see him knocking on no doors. I don't see him seeking after anything. I don't, I don't see Tyrone asking for nothing. But he's sitting up over there praying, telling me about it. So he wants you to enact, family. He wants you to do something, family. He wants you to bust a grape, family. Okay, now. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Or with one of you who has a son and ask him for bread, will give him a stone. Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent. If you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So think about that, family. That's why Yahshua said that, family. Your father, he wants to give it. He wants to be glorified by it. But you're going to have to follow in all of the things that I told you, family. And a lot of it too, family. Now, let's go back up. Ask, family. They asked, family, but they didn't believe, family. They didn't even believe that they would get it, family. That's why they didn't start seeking anything, family. That's why they didn't try to knock on no doors, family. Nothing was given to them, family. Nothing was received. Family, they wasn't delighting and they love for God, family. That's why they knocked on the doors, but nothing was open to them, family. If you abide in, in me and my words abide in you, whatever you wish, and it will be done. They really didn't even believe God. That's why they asked and it didn't even work like that, family. So it's all of these things that you have to take. Father, he wants to give it to you, family. He really does, family. But people lose hope, family. They lose faith, family. They don't even think that they would receive it, family. They're not even willing to uh, beat their eyebrow, family, and go out there and bust the concrete open in, in pieces if they have to, family. They don't even think that they would even have to do that to get a blessing, family. So you might have to fight for it. You have to believe in it. You have to see it before you even get it. It's all these things of what you have to. I want you to consider when you ask God, anything, you know what I'm saying? When you ask him, you better be thinking about every single thing that we went through here in the sanctuary here tonight. All of it, family. 
all of it. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. You ask and not and do not receive because you are wrongly to spend it on your on, on your possession. Can you believe these people? They greedy family. Don't be greedy. He ain't going to he ain't even going to answer that one family. He's not family. By by this, the father is glorified that bears much fruit. So you will be my disciple. They halfway love God. They halfway love Jesus. So how are they going to receive anything from him? Family, there's no lukewarm around here. Family, you either is or you ain't family. My brother's up over there, they ain't even see it, but they know it's coming. Do you understand that? You know what I'm saying? My sister's up over there, family. They ain't even seen it, but they already got it inside of their heart. They already claimed it in everything, family. For when you come here to learn today, you're going to pick up this spirit, family. For real, you're going to pick up this spirit and you're going to lock it away because it's all love. It's all peace of his mercy, of all of his great truth, family. Now, let's go ahead and get into lessons for tonight. Okay, page one. Today is March 19th. Two, it's March 19th, 2019. It's Tuesday, family. And you know, some of them people get scared when I start saying dates and stuff. Repent, you know what I'm saying? Repent, brother. Repent, sister. Repent from all that evil stuff. You be like, you going to hard, you host. Oh, I have repented. It's not even for you, though, brother. It's for them other hardheads and them nutheads and them people running from God and stuff. Listen. Don't think that I'm I'm coming out here with a with a two edged sword of my tongue on you. I don't even I'm not even talking to you like that. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Take this love and build up off of it. For your people, they run from it, family. Do I have to sit up here and call them a coward? Do I have to say anything like that because they don't want to love and build up their people? No, I didn't told you for years, family. For years, what it is, family. Family, before family, they would pick up a judge. They would, they, 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 they go to somebody. They'd be like, "Oh, Samson, you so strong, you so tough, you can kill a gang of Philistines, Samson. You gotta be the judge." People like, people like me and my brothers and, and my sisters, we was forced to be judges to help our people. Anybody who is willing to help their people or a judge. I've been helping my people my whole life and they ain't did nothing for me. I'm surprised when they come around and say, good job, Hebrew. Oh, you're doing a good job. Yeah, we love you, Hebrew. We love you. Hoping them their whole life. So we are forced to be in judges because we don't want to see our people doing bad or messed up or anything like that our heart goes out to our people it always has family for we are god's chosen elect and i tell you before we even get into the this this sit down here in the sanctuary of all this ministry and preaching and gospel i read the scriptures family and he said he only gonna say he only gonna okay given what's been happening to us and let me change up the prop because all this stuff right here i learned from Zechariah himself. I learned all these things from Zechariah himself, family. And right now, family, far as what Zechariah taught us, family, far as in times and places and actually what we are here in this country, family, it is a, it is a sight to see, family. Y Yah's hand, family, of everything that he's doing, family. And from what Zechariah taught me, family, he only going to save one thing, given what's been happened to us, us and our final captivity, because we, we ain't got no more captivity after this, family. It's just sad. A lot of us is not going to make it. Zechariah, he prophesied that only one third, anytime we've been in captivity and then you take a portion of us and take them and scatter them to the, the four corners of it. He said only one third, family. One third of us. So look at the black people. Look at the, the black people here in this country. They say, what is it, 40? They won't even tell you the truth on how many of us here because they so wrapped up in all these damn lies, family. Let's just say, for instance, it's 50 million of us, family. That's a low number. They'll never tell you the truth on how many people. Let's just say it's 50 million. Remember, we always outnumbered them, family. Always, family. And it's 70 million of them. So you do the math on that, family, of how many Hebrews it is actually in this country. And he said one third, family. Given our situation, as far as prophetic prophecy that's happening, we, we're over here now, family, from what Zechariah said, family. Um, it's like 13 million people will be saved. From what Zechariah said, family, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Given the numbers he gave me and after I did the math according to how many black folk live here in North America, about 13 million is the remnant here now, family. Are you a part of this remnant that I'm talking about? The 13.3 million, you know what I'm saying? 13.3 million of us, family. Now look at that. I just told you it's 50 million of us, family, that live here in America. What is that, family? You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of millions of black people who are not going to make it, family. And they don't make, they're not making it because they choose not to turn to the most high God, family. Now, I can't feel sorry for them Hebrews, family. You know what I'm saying? They perishing and dwindling. I pray for them all day long, family. I, I even try to help them, family. But from what the, the prophecy says, family... 13.3 million black people in this country will be saved, family. Will be saved, family. Straight up, family. So I don't know. I don't know, family. I don't know, family. It looks it looks bad, family. It looks bad, family. But your brother done told you several times, family. Several times, family. Now, let's go ahead and get into ministering for tonight. Oh, family, we've been going a whole hour already. Oh, family. I'm sorry, family. And, and some of my brothers like, Jehosa, nah, Jehosa, you did that on purpose. You just trying to get out the sanctuary for the night, brother. Nah, brother, nah, 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 Jehosa, I love you, brother. I know you, brother. You did that intentionally. So you don't have to get into scriptures and all of this preaching for the night. You ran over. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, I, I won't be mad, Jehosa. You gave me something. I, I can't be mad at my Jehosa, my brother in Israel. He loved me. Yeah, yeah, you can't be mad at me, family. You can't be mad at me family but we have been carrying forth family and the spirit is willing family it's just your brother i got all this other stuff that i gotta get through but no faint heart family no faint heart family go ahead and throw your hands up all glory given to the most high god father i come to you as your humble child upon this earth and i speak on the behalf of all of your many children for you are a great god and all of the abundance of the love that you put on to us father you are worthy father and you are a merciful god you are the only god worth praising we love you father we honor you with these lives and this fire of yeshua hamashiach we also call him jesus christ that's burning inside of us to fill of your loin of what you want us to do for all of your greatness of all of your truth father we love you father we submit father we surrender unto you father of all of your grace of all of your might and your truth father bless us father dwell with us father tell us what we got to do father teach us hold our hands be in our lives shape us in the way that you see fit for us for we surrender almighty god of the heavens for you are worthy for you are worthy father i ask that you bless the fruits of their mind I ask that you bless the fruits of their body. I ask that you kill and take away any disease inside of their body and keep their body young and, and, and vibrant as if they youth, Father. I ask that you bless their mind and keep their mind witty and smart and on their toes against all this evil and this cold-hearted world in which that we are in, Father. I ask that you bless their husbands. I ask that you bless their wives. I ask that you bless their sons. I ask that you bless their daughters. I cover their house in the blood of Jesus Christ, Father, for you are worthy. Father, I ask that you fill their house with all of your many blessings, your hand of protection, all of your mercy, all of your grace be upon them. I ask, Father, in Yahshua HaMashiach name. Father, I ask that you bless them and give them every favor that they might need in this life. I ask that you bless them in abundance to be able to be a blessing towards others with all the blessings that you give to them. And I ask that you protect them. I ask that you build up the light that you have put inside of us to love our master even more, to stand for him even more, to give into this peace of this love, of this truth, of what he wants us to live by, by all the measures of your greatness, Father, shaken down, press forth and runneth over for you are great God. All glory be given to you, Father, for you are worthy. All glory be given to your throne. All glory be given to your will, for you are a worthy God by all of your standards. Blessed be your name, Yah, forever, for you are worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah. Blessed be his name forever, for he is worthy. Now, family, your brother, I got to tell you, family, I love you, family. And keep your love true and fighting for what you know is the truth, family, with all your lies. But all the lies that this world put on you, family, fight for his righteousness. Even though you see it in a, deep, a bleak world and you're the only one fighting, 
doesn't mean that he's not watching, family. And he's watching you and all the truth that you stand for. For stand with us, family. For we will stand with him. Make sure you come get some of this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Get on the bus. Get on the train. Come on down. You know what I'm saying? Come be with your brothers and sisters in spirit. Praying for the behalf of so many different people lost in this world. Across the face of this world. That needs your blessings, family. To get that evil stank devil out their life, family. Straight up, family. Come pray on the behalf of your people. Pray on the behalf of black people, family. Pray that your people get their mind back. Pray that God still sending down his curses to have us kill each other. Pray for that with your brother from with me tonight. You know what I'm saying? Pray that God give us our sense back and our mind back, family. For he sent a spirit on us and we killing each other now, family. Straight up, family. Doesn't, give, doesn't make it right and doesn't give in. But once more again, family, only 13.3 will remain, family. So they don't have to like that I said that. But pray on the behalf, family, of all these different... And I do a show about it. I talk about it, family. I will, family. Maybe tomorrow. Pray on the behalf of everything that God has set you free from, all them bonds, all them snares, that all that bad stuff that happened to you, sister, that he brought you out of, brother, you know all that bad stuff that he brought you out of. I'm, I'm grateful that he brought you out of it. I'm grateful that he put us through it in the first place. But pray on the behalf of all those who trapped up in this world, who going through the things that God brought you out of. They need your prayers. This world needs your prayers tonight. And and like I said, come with an obedient, joyful of heart and submit yourself to him at this nine o'clock prayer hour. Now, all glory be given to Yah. Father, thank you for your son. Master, thank you for your father. Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Until next time, family. Until next time. All glory be given to Yah, for he is worthy. All glory be given to Yah. All glory be given to Yah.